Now, if you want to add any type of outline to your logo, there's a bunch of easy ways to do it here in Photoshop, and we're going to walk through all of them right now. Now, the first way that you can outline your logo is just by adding a simple colored border to the edges of your logo. But before you do that, you need to first remove the background from your logo if you haven't done so already. Luckily, removing the background from a logo is super easy because you can just sample the colors that are in the logo and then use those to create a selection and remove the background. So first we'll select our magic wand tool, which can be found underneath the quick selection tool and down here in the magic wand tool. Now with our sample size set to point sample, our tolerance set to 32 or lower, making sure that contiguous is unchecked, we're gonna then go and just click on the color of our logo like so, and it's gonna create a selection around the logo. Now, if you have multiple colors in your logo, you're gonna to wanna to hold the shift key, and as you can see, I have that little plus icon beside the cursor, and so then with that being held, you can go and click on the other colors in your logo to add them to your selection. The idea here is just to add all of the colors in your logo so then your logo is perfectly selected. Now once that selection is active we're going to make sure that logo layer is selected and we'll add it to a layer mask like so and now it's going to remove the background for us really easily. Now with this background removed to add a stroke we can use the layer styles. So double clicking on that layer it's going to open the layer styles for us and then within the styles option we'll go down to the stroke option. We'll click on that and make sure to click on it as well so that we can see the stroke settings. Now as for the fill type, we're going to make sure this is set to color and then we can click on the color box to choose a color that we want for our outline. Let's just say I want a deep red color like this. Click OK. And then now we'll set the position to center as that's going to center our outline equally on the outer and inner edge of the logo and I find that this works best for graphic outlines. Then as for the size, depending on what you're into, you can increase the size to increase the outline of your logo and then just click OK. And now you've successfully outlined your logo and if you wanna go back and edit this at any time, you just simply have to double click on this little word that says stroke. That's gonna open up your layer styles with your stroke settings and then you can go and change anything as you need really easily. So that's the beauty of layer styles is that it's easy to edit and manipulate later on after you've added an outline. Now, if you wanted to go and add, say, a gradient outline to your image, you can do that using this exact same method, except with the fill type, we're gonna set that to gradient, and then we'll click on the gradient editor like so. And if you're new to using gradients or the gradient editor, I highly recommend checking out my tutorial on how to create gradients in Photoshop, which you can find up in the corner right now. Within the gradient editor, you can choose between a bunch of preset gradients, depending on what you're into, or you can go and just create your own gradient using this little preview here. So double clicking on these color swatches, it'll open up a color picker for you. And then in here, you can go and choose a color of your liking like so, and then it will create a new gradient for you. It's really super easy to customize your gradients with this tool. Clicking OK to add that gradient, you can then go and adjust your gradient settings. So the style is how your gradient is applied onto your logo. In most cases, I recommend the linear option as it's just going to transition from one color to another in a straight line, and that works really well for gradient outlines. As for the angle, you can click to adjust this, and that's going to change where the colors or the angle of your gradient is coming from. So if I put it on this side, for example, you can see that the gradient is moving this direction now rather than up and down. And then the scale, as you decrease that, it's just going to make the transition between the two colors more noticeable, as you can see here. But then as I increase it, it's going to blend that out. So it's almost not even noticeable anymore once you increase that to a really high value. So it's up to you what you're into, but these settings are all really easy to adjust. And then just like before, we can make sure the position is set to center, and then we can adjust the size of your outline as you need, depending on what kind of look you're wanting for your gradient outline of your logo. Now, the same thing will apply for patterns. Just select the pattern option. You can choose a pattern and then adjust all the settings as you see here. Clicking OK to exit that dialog box. Let's talk about another method of outlining your logo, but this time we're gonna put the outline away from the edges, because right now the logo is outlined against the edge, but what if we wanted to say add the outline a few pixels or like quite a distance away from the edges of our logo? To do that, we have to go through a slightly different method. So I'm gonna just turn off this stroke or turn off these effects so we're back to our regular layer here. What I'm gonna do is hold command or control and click on my layer mask or you can click on your image layer thumbnail if it already has a transparent background and then with that active selection created we're going to go to select modify and expand 
What this option will do is basically take your active selection and move it outwards by a preset amount of pixels. In this case, let's do 40 pixels. I'll click OK. And notice how that edge just expands outwards and so it's not quite against the edge of our logo anymore and it's more hovering around the outside. Next, I'll create a new layer so then we can add our outline non-destructively onto its own layer. It's easier to edit that way. And then we'll go up to Edit and down here to stroke while that selection is still active. Now, if your selection is really close to your logo, I'd recommend a smaller width, but you can experiment with this as you need. As for the location, I'm gonna set this to outside and then I'll click on the color and I'll set this to some kind of blue color here. Click OK. And then I'll set my width to say 20 pixels. With our location set to outside, that way our stroke will go into the outer edge of our selection and there's no way that it will be able to touch our actual logo. So that little gap between our active selection and the logo will remain there. So clicking OK, that's gonna add that outline. So I'll press Command and Control D to deselect that selection. And now we have successfully outlined our logo, but this time with a bit of a gap. Now with this type of outline effect, you can also create some cool haloing effects just by grabbing the move tool by pressing V, selecting that outline layer, and then just moving it over like so. And it kind of adds this funky look to your logo in a style that I keep seeing on Instagram recently. So that is another cool option for outlining your logos. So now what if you wanted to outline your logo with an image rather than with a color or a gradient or a pattern? Well, in that case, we can follow some similar steps, but with a slight variation. So I'm going to delete this outline layer here and I'm going to create a new layer above my logo once again. Holding command or control, I'll click on my layer mask or if your logo already has a transparent background, you can click on the layer thumbnail. With that new layer selected, I'm going to go up to edit and down here to stroke. I'll set this to outside once again and the color that you choose will not matter because it's gonna be filled with a photo. And then as for the width, I'm gonna make sure that this is a little bit bigger this time, maybe 50 pixels, so then that way we have a little bit more room to actually see the photo in the outline. Clicking OK, that's gonna add a nice stroke to our logo and give it an outline on a new layer. I'll press Command or Control D to deselect that. And now we just have our outline on its own layer like so. Next, you need to go and find an image that you want to add into your outline. Once you find your image, just drag and drop it into your project like so. It will load onto your canvas and add itself as a new layer like you see here. Now you wanna make sure that this layer is on the top of your layer stack directly above your outline layer, and then we'll right click on it and go to create clipping mask. That's gonna change where this layer is visible so it's only visible within the parameters of the outline that we just created. Now to adjust the positioning, we just simply have to grab the move tool, make sure that image layer is selected, and then you can move this around as you wish to easily change where your image is sitting within your logo. So let's just say that works for me. I'll press the check mark and now you've successfully filled your outline with an image. Now the last type of outline that you might want to have is just an outline of your logo and not the solid color in the middle. Well, in that case, after you've created a stroke on your new layer, you can just turn off your logo layer and all that's left over is the stroke on its own layer. So therefore you now have an outline version of your logo really easily. If you'd only wanted a solid color, you obviously could just turn off that image layer and then now you have your solid colored outline. So as you can see, there's a ton of amazing ways to outline your logo and stylize things a little bit more here in Photoshop, no matter what type of look you're going for. Now, if this helped you to outline your logo, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a huge difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more Photoshop and photo editing tips just like today. Anyways, my name is Brennan from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.